In question 3 of this exercise, the problem statement says, a train covered a certain distance at a uniform speed. If the train would have been 10 km per hour faster, it would have taken 2 hours less than the scheduled time. And if the train were slower by 10 km per hour, it would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. Find the distance covered by the train. So we don't know the distance covered. We don't know the usual speed of the train. We do not know the scheduled time. What we do know is if the speed increases or decreases by a certain amount, then by how much uh, amount the time changes from the scheduled time. So how do we solve this problem? What reasoning can we use? Well, we can assume the unknowns to be the speed of the train. So let's say that the speed of the train is v kilometers per hour and we can assume that the scheduled time or the usual time of the journey is t hours. There's a third unknown which is the distance that the train covers but that can be derived from v and t. So the distance will simply be equal to v times t. So vt kilometers. So if we find v and t, we will be able to find the distance that the train covers. Now let's see how we can set up a pair of equations in v and t. So the first piece of information says if the train would have been 10 kilometers faster, 10 kilometers per hour faster, it would have taken two hours less than the scheduled time. So let's say that this that the speed increases by 10 kilometers per hour. In this case, the time decreases by 2 hours. But the key idea is that the distance covered is still the same. The distance covered by the train at a higher speed and in lesser time is still the same as the usual distance. So this means that the product of this speed and this time, so this product should be equal to the product of V and T, which is the usual distance. So from here, we get our first equation in V and T. Let's expand this product and see what we get. So we have VT, VT, then V into minus 2. So that's minus 2V. And then we have 10T. And then we have 10 into minus 2. That's minus 20 equal to VT. Now the interesting thing is the VT terms cancel out. And what we are left with is a linear equation in v and t. So let's write it here. Minus 2v plus 10t minus 20 is equal to 0. And this is our first equation in v and t. Now the second piece of information says if the train were slower by 10 kilometers per hour, it would have taken 3 hours more than the scheduled time. So if the speed of the train decreases by 10 kilometers per hour, so the new speed is v minus 10. Then the time taken increases by 3 hours. So the new time is t plus 3. But the distance covered by the train still remains the same. So the product of this new speed and this new time must be equal to the product of v and t once again. And from here we get our second equation in v and t. So let's expand this product. So we have vt. So vt and then we have v times 3. So that's 3v. And then we have minus 10 times t. And then we have minus 10 times 3. So minus 30 is equal to vt. And once again, the vt terms cancel out, leaving us with the linear equation in v and t. And let's write that equation here. 3v minus 10t minus 30 is equal to 0. And this is, let's call it equation now we have a pair of linear equations in v and t and we see that the coefficient of t is plus 10 in the first equation and minus 10 in the second equation. So we can use elimination to solve this pair and we can do that by simply adding the two equations. And what do we get? So we get 3v and minus 2v. This adds to v and we get minus 20 and minus 30. This adds to minus 50. So v minus 50 is equal to 0. And this means that v is equal to 50. And now let's substitute this value of v into equation 1 to get the value of t. So we get minus 2v or minus 100 
प्लस टेन टी माइनस ट्वेंटी इज इक्वल टू जीरो दिस मीन्स दैट टेन टी इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी और टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व और राइट सो वी हैव फाउंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वी द स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन द नॉर्मल स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन दिस इज फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स पर आर एंड वी हैव फाउंड द नॉर्मल टाइम टेकन बाय द ट्रेन विच इज ट्वेल्व टी इज ट्वेल्व सो द शेड्यूल्ड टाइम इज ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड दिस मीन्स दैट द डिस्टेंस दैट अ ट्रेन कवर्स इज फिफ्टी टाइम्स ट्वेल्व विच इज इक्वल टू सिक्स हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स सो वी कैन वेरीफाई दैट दिस आंसर इज करेक्ट लेट्स डू दैट सो द नॉर्मल स्पीड ऑफ द ट्रेन इज वी हैव फाउंड इट टू बी फिफ्टी किलोमीटर्स पर आर एंड द शेड्यूल्ड टाइम इज ट्वेल्व आवर्स एंड दिस गिवस a uh, distance covered of 600 km now if the speed uh, is 10 km faster then the new speed is 60 km per hour and to cover a distance of 600 km now this would take a time of only 10 hours so we see that the time has reduced by 2 hours which is what we were told in the problem and if the speed decreases by 10 km per hour so the new speed becomes 40 km per hour then to cover a distance of 600 km it would take a time of 15 hours 600 by 40 or 15 hours and we see that this is 3 hours more than the uh, scheduled time which is what we were told in the problem statement so this aligns with both pieces of information given in the problem statement hence our answer is correct the usual speed is 50 km per hour the usual time is 12 hours and the distance covered by the train is 600 km to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers